Greetings of the hour to one and all present over here. Today I, Shaujatta Haldar of Class 6B from Asian International School, want to cherish one of my precious heritage. My recent stopover was at my maternal uncle's place. This house was structured a couple of centuries ago by Makhonlal Karmukar, Baroda Prashad Karmukar and three other brothers, recalling whose names stalls my memory. Anyway, so the house of Krishant, the Furpur Borobari. This house is also celebrated Durga Puja in its own premises once upon a time. Amongst the Bengalis in the art world of Aurat, Golden Bar Rangers, alias Bala in Bengali, found glamorous popularity. As my ancestors initially were blacksmiths, it was obvious that they had commented the stock of iron dust, and it was hard during the period of freedom struggle that the ingredients used to make bombs and cannons were supplied to the freedom fighters from Borobari itself. I feel proud to be here. Greetings of the hour. I am Rituraj De. I read in class 5, section E. And today, I am going to introduce you to my antique piece in our house, the Holy Goddess Mahalakshmi. It has originated from Bhagokul Roy family as my mother is born in Bhagokul Roy family. There are many antique pieces in our house, but it is quite close to my heart. In the year of 1870, my mother's great-grandmother made this idol of Holy Goddess Mahalakshmi and it is 150 years old. Every day we worship her three times in the morning, afternoon and evening. During the Kojagari Lakshmi Puja, we worship her with lots of devotion. And we also bake different food items in Kojagari Lakshmi Puja like coconut laddus, khichri, puri and kachoris with curries and vegetable fries. And she always blesses us and keeps us happy. Thank you. Greetings 
of the hour to my dear friends, to the respective teachers and to the principal ma'am. I am Ayushman Dev from class 5A and I study in Asian International School. Today I am going to give a speech on the uh, family heritage. You know that an ancient scientific pendulum clock is present in my house? This is the pendulum clock. Tick tock, tick tock. That's the sound when we think of clocks. Even though the vast majority of the modern timekeepers hardly make any sound at all. Not so long ago, every clocks and watches made a tick-tock sound as they were completely mechanical rather than electrical or electronics. Instead of your clock getting powered by a battery, you wound it up with a key and inside you can see a swinging rod called a pendulum that made sure that the winning gears kept good time. This is the pendulum clock that actually works. The ancient scientific pendulum clock is also present in my house. This is the pendulum clock. It is a precious antique piece. In the year of 1950, a man borrowed some money against that clock from my grandfather and from that date is hanging in the wall of our hall. My grandfather used to look after that clock, owned the clock a key, cleaned it and also cared for it nicely. After that, when my father was born after many years, he used to take the responsibility of that clock and also use it for many purposes. After that, when I was born, I used that pendulum clock to improve my eyesight as the pendulum was made of a glass type material and the light reflects on it. It was placed in the center side of the room, but when its bell rings, it makes a reminiscent sound that makes attention to us. It rings after every hour and half an hour. When I grew up more, I used that pendulum clock to get alarmed about time to do study, time to woke up, time to join the online classes, time to bath and more. When I look at that clock, I wondered how old it is. I have also told my father that I will take that responsibility of that clock when I will be a bit bigger. But now when I look at that ancestral scientific pendulum clock, I feel in my heart that I am touching my grandfather and getting loved by him as it was a very, very nice gift from my grandfather to me. Thank you. Good evening ma'am, I am Rupan Dera from class 5C. Today I will tell a short speech on this sword. As we all know, sword is a weapon made of bronze which were used by emperors to fight. This is also a sword made of bronze for decorating houses. But this is not a normal sword. It was a gift from a very famous monk of Nepal to my great grandmother near 1930 and told to hang it in the house. It is hanged for nine decades in the wall of the house. This sword is a harbinger of fate and good luck. So this sword gives many memories of my great grandmother and my family and is also a part of my heritage. Thank you. Good morning my principal ma'am. Thank you students for teachers and my dear friends, I am Archisha Das from class 5, section D. Today I will delight about the prestigious profession of my family. This is the grand object called Huko. This is a piece of my heritage of my family. It is belongs to my uh, great grandfather, it is uh, Achyut Chavandash. This Huko is 85 years old, so during the region of my great grandmother, it is used for smoking. Now, it is uh, one of the ancient pieces of art. Thank you. Hello everyone, I am Shraddha Jaiswal of class 5E. Coins are as important as the inscriptions in history. Every piece of coin unravels important history. This silver coin present in my hand belongs to my grandfather. He was handed over this coin by his grandfather. This is a one rupee silver coin. It was the standard circulation coin during the period 1862 to 1947. It was minted in the Calcutta Mint in the year 1904. 
On the obverse, we can see the bust of the king Edward VII, and while on the reverse, we can see the value of the coin and the year it was minted. Coins are the mirror of the past. Coins have outside influences. It is perhaps the most fascinating coin in the world. Thank you. A very warm greeting to all of my respected teachers. I am Pratyusha Manna from Class 5 from Asian International School. Today, I am going to speak about the heritage of India. The rich heritage of India, which is one of the most oldest civilization of the world, with all embracing confluence, religions, traditions, and customs. We all know that old is gold. Today, I am going to present something which is very old and really made up of gold. These bangles are gifted to my great grandmother, Mrs. Lakshmi Devi, by her mother in law. After this, as per as our family tradition, this is gifted to the newly married daughter in laws from the mother in laws. Since this had been to my mother's collection from her wedding day. After some time, this would be handed to the future generation of our house. This, these are very pretty bangles with very beautiful and aristocratic designs. These bangles are made up of pure gold. Our family members had a special emotionally attachment with these bangles. Thank you everyone. Greetings of the hour to everyone present over here. I am Aditya Chatterjee from class 5A. Would like to share with all of you my one of the favorite family heritage and would say a few lines about this. This letter was written during the year 1954 by my great grandfather and addressed to my great grandmother. In this letter, he is informing about the great job opportunities he was receiving at that time. Back those days, he was also in serving in the Indian Army and used to write letters every day to my great grandmother. There are many family heirlooms in our home. But this letter is very close to my heart as it teaches me that family comes first and no matter what, we must take care of our family. Although I have never seen my great grandfather as because he was killed by the Noxels during 1970. And his several other belongings of his reminds me that what a great human being he was. As when women education was not taken seriously, my great grandfather encouraged my great grandmother to become a graduate. I want to be a person like my great grandfather if I ever can. Thank you. collection of my grandpa. We have been using 
this beautiful sound machine for three generations and till today it delights us with its magical sound. A gramophone is an instrument for reproducing sounds by the means of vibration of a stylus. This is a stylus. And it also reproduces sound with the help of the needle on a rotating disc or records. This is a box of needle. It needs no battery or electric power. All it needs is to wind the handle before playing. also have a large collection of separated RPM records. These all are separated RPM. RPM means revolution per minute. Here is a very very rare collection. I am going to play a song of Rabindran Tagore in his own voice. If you want to listen more, you may come to our house. Thank you. Good evening everyone. Presents over here. Today, I, Pazuali Ansari of Class 7C is going to speak about this ancient flower vase. This ancient flower vase belongs to my mother's great grandfather. He bought this vase from Lucknow. He actually himself was a potter and loved to collect different varieties of pots. This was one of his collection. This vase is nearly about 100 years old. This vase is very unique and very precious for us. We keep this vase very safely as this is the last car of him and also a part of our heritage and also it connects with many 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 memories. I feel myself very very lucky to have this is and love this vase. Thank you. jewelry, property papers inside this so that it is secure. They get the lock over here and key with the female members in the house. This is a stone grinding machine. 
used in early ages. This has a stick over here and when we would pull the stick it would rotate like this. We have used to keep grains inside this space so that it can be grinded. We could see how much it is grinded from this place. From this place we could see it. There is a blank opening over here. So this were the things available in my house. Thank you. of 1906 manufactured by British India. The current ruler of that time was Edward VII. This is an ancient ornament made in pure silver like that coin. It is a coin of 1936 manufactured by British India. The current ruler of that time was George V. This is a coin of 1946 manufactured in British India. The current ruler of that time was George VI. political life and which ruler ruled in which period. So these coins are really heritage as they tell us the history. Good morning my respectable ma'am. I am Oindla Naskar of class 8D. It is a very old lamp. It was used in ancient time by my great great grandfather. It is it was used as a table lamp and as well as for enlightening a whole room. The base of this lamp is made up of a black stone. The stand which is above the base is made up of copper and the jar which con which contains kerosene for which helps in burning is made up of thick glass and then at top there is a brass burner which contains two thick wicks. The thick wicks can be controlled by these two nuts. One, uh, the two are the different twig, wicks have different nuts for them so that the wicks can be pulled down and also pulled up. Thank you. Hello everyone. I am Shomini Dash of Asian National School of Class 6C. Today I am going to introduce to you one of the antique assets of our family. It is a 50 years old gramophone cum radio. It is a grand property of my grandfather who bought it in the year of 1969. We kept it as a precious product of our family. We also kept its cash memo and guarantee card. It cost Rs. 548 and 80 paise. It is a product of the famous HMB brand. We use this gramophone cum radio specially 
for listening the Mahalaya every year. Gramophone is a device for mechanical recording and reproduction of sound. They read the sound with the help of a small needle in the groove of the record. As the record turns, the groove vibrates. This vibration transmits to the diaphragm which itself creates the sound. This is all about our vintage asset of our family. Thank you. Hi everyone. I am Ankur Karmakar of class 6B from Asian International School. Today I am going to discuss about traditionally designed prestigious silk banarasi sari of my great grandmother. This sari was gifted by my great grandmother to my grandmother and further to my mother during their weddings. This sari's jadi is studded with gold and my great grandmother also told that this sari was gifted to her by a descendant of Mughal emperor. This sari was made before India got independent and hand loom was at its peak. This sari was once put into auction by one of our ancestors, but luckily one of our rich distant relatives bought it and thus saving our heritage. When my mother wears this sari, she feels very vibrant and energetic. Many of our friends envy for this sari, but my mother told not to sell this sari for any of our adversities and she wants to keep this as a blessing for her daughter-in-law. We as a family respect to strike the Sari to as our respect to our heritage and tradition. Thank you. I am Rudronil Bab of Asian International School from class 5D. With immense pride, today I would like to introduce our heritage. Heritage means what we inherit from ancestors. I have in inherited this epic meal of tiger from my mother Sushmita Bab who has inherited from her great-grandfather Sri Rabindranath Roy. It is believed that it is 150 years old. I still do not know the source. But since many generations, we have preserved with great honor. Thank you. It's of the time to my respected Principal ma'am, headmistress ma'am and all my respected teachers. This is a model of a coat and it is a part of my heritage. Coats was the two-wheeled vehicle which was drawn by animals which was used throughout the recorded history by numerous societies for the transportation of wheat, agricultural produce, refuse and people. There is a historical background behind this coat. When my grandfather was a little boy, that time Kurtz was the only vehicle for transportation in village. On one day, my grandfather was crying for a toy from his father. During that time, all these attractive toys like remote control car, freeze BTC was not available. So, my grandfather's father was a bit confused about what to give. Then he thought about making a model of all types of curds as he was very skilled in making those. My grandfather's father gifted him this curd and on my 9th birthday my grandfather had given me this curd. Since then it had become a part of my heritage and I was very much fascinated with this curd. I always keep this curd very diligently. Thank you.